sheet of carbon that is a single atom thick. So it's about one one hundred thousandth of a human hair in thickness. And it's a sheet of carbon that is flexible and uh, incredibly thin. Also huge electrical conductivity, very good mechanical strength. So there are two main benefits to using graphene in the battery technology. One is that you get much faster charging batteries uh, with graphene. That in most batteries there's actually a, a big difference between the discharge rate and the charge rate of the battery. Due to the chemistry within the battery itself, the batteries charge much more slowly than they can discharge. In our batteries, you have almost equal charge and discharge rates. And so if you think about uh, a cell phone that might take you an hour to fully charge, we can fully charge that cell phone in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Graphene comes from graphite, um, and your standard pencil lead graphite. Um, graphite actually consists of a series of graphene sheets that are all stacked together. We take graphene actually as a powder material and we incorporate it into inks or paints. And um, these inks are electrically conductive now uh, with the addition of graphene. And so instead of printing out a newspaper, now you can print out electronics at incredibly high volume and incredibly low cost. We anticipate being able to have full battery systems that can be incorporated into both the consumer goods and into military vehicle technology within two years. So for a car battery, it would be roughly cutting in half the weight, or uh, if you looked at it the other way, you could double the range of the current car batteries using our graphene technology.